Hi, my name's Helen Wilson. I'm one of the pharmacists at BRI. We're just going to show you a short video on syringe driver prescribing. So I've got a patient who needs um, a syringe driver for morphine, 40 milligrams, hyacin butyl bromide, 60 milligrams, and midazolam, 5 milligrams. So we're just going to go into the patient. And then the first thing that you need to do is go to requests and care plans. And we're looking for the med syringe driver power plan. So when you click add here, if you just start typing syringe, it will bring up the power plan. There it is. And then the first thing you can do with a power plan is there's a little note here that links to the BTHFT website, the intranet. Um, and this brings up any guidance that there is on the power plan. Okay, then you can just go back into the patient here. Okay, so the one that we want is the syringe driver for water for injection, 17 mils, which is just here. And then you just click on the dose fields and that lets you add in your drugs. Okay, so this is what the power plan looks like when you open it up. And then in order to add drugs to it, you need to click here on the additive box. So if you just click there, and then we're looking for morphine for syringe driver. So you just need to start typing in your drug. And then if you use this advanced search button here, it will bring it up. So here we are, morphine for syringe driver. And then just click done. And then this allows you to enter your dose. So here we're just going to type 40 milligrams. And then to add more drugs, you just click keep clicking on this additive box. So we'll just click that again. And then this time we're looking for hyacinth butyl bromide. So again, click on the advanced search box and we're looking for the drug for syringe driver. And then done. So then here we can type in our dose for the hyacinth, 60 milligrams. And then again, we need to click the additive button to add in the last drug of midazolam. Advanced search, midazolam for syringe driver and done. And then you can type your dose in there, five milligrams. And then once that's all done, you need to click initiate and then orders for signature and sign it. And then once you've prescribed something, it's really important you go back into the drug chart, click refresh, and then you can check that you have prescribed what you intended to. So you can see it's just come up there.